Liza Minnelli wowed the crowd at Neiman Marcus during a VIP preview of Hudson Yards Thursday, performing New York, New York, following a drop-in from Charlie XCX. But we hear Minnelli didn't just light up the stage. There was smoke coming from backstage, like it looked like a volcano, and the audience could smell something, said a spy. Insiders told us it was just Liza having a pre-performance cigarette inside the store. There was also buzz about bands arriving to perform, but a source told us that there are conversations happening with bands with Yards developers related for another event. Meanwhile, Whoopi Goldberg made her first appearance since beating pneumonia and sepsis, while Katie Holmes was seen trying on hair extensions, and Marla Maples made the rounds among the 100 stores, along with unending VIPs, including Anne Hathaway, Carly Kloss and Diane von Furstenberg. Tom Brady and Giselle Bundchen went to a private dinner at Estiatorio Milo's. A witness said there was a line of people waiting to get into Milo's. Even billionaires like Andrew Farkas, Jed Walentis and Harry Macklow had to wait. But then Tom and Giselle arrived and were ushered right in. Once inside, they were taken to a private room at the fifth floor eatery. Also in line were Shark Tank stars Damon John and Kevin O'Leary. We hear later at yet another VIP bash thrown by Related's chairman Stephen Ross and CEO Jeff Blau on the 50th and 51st floors at 15 Hudson Yards, there was one scary snafu, one of the elevators stopped and dropped 15 feet, a guest told us. But a rep explained, it was a packed house. One of the elevators got stuck dot 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 it happens. Everyone was fine. Bergdorf Goodman's Linda Fargo told us of the starry opening, I am so wildly impressed. I feel like New York is not, per se, a mall culture, but I think this really has a shot. Hudson Yards officially opened to the public on Friday, 